Hey guys, uh, I just want to come on here and share an experience I had back in 1995. So I was actually searching for um, a religion, some church to go to, and uh, every church I would go to, it was just not working out, the things didn't seem right. I remember I attended this one church, I don't remember the name of the church, um, but uh, one thing that stood out to me that didn't feel right was when they were passing around the plate, um, you know, I could definitely see what people were putting in. And to me, I think that should be confidential. Um, anyways, uh, so the experience that I had was um, I continued to go to different churches and nothing seemed to be just, I don't know, nothing felt right. And so I remember one day um, I was at the time living in New York in Forest Stills. And uh, my roommates and I, we went to a, a restaurant, a Chinese restaurant actually, and uh, I remember at the end of the meal, we each all received a fortune cookie and mine said something that was really, it, it kind of stood out to me. It says, depart not from the fate in which destiny is going to assign you. At first I thought it was kind of weird, but um, I didn't you know, make a big deal out of it. I, I took it home with me. Um, I remember one day I was in my apartment uh, in New York in Forest Hills and um, I was in the kitchen, I was making supper and uh, my TV was on in the living room and um, all of a sudden I heard a voice and the voice said, um, you know, Christ came to America and I, I was like, what? Uh, Christ came to America? I'm in America. How come I have never heard about this? And so I run to my living room, and when I run to the living room, I saw, a, a, you know, like a hand. Um, the hand had this book that I'm not familiar with, and it was uh, the Book of Mormon. And then um, I also saw, saw in the other hand, uh, you know, the, the Holy Bible. And this person that was talking was saying that, you know, uh, the Book of Mormon, um, he was explaining that Christ came to a group of people who were called the Nephites. And um, when Christ came to them, he had ministered unto them and uh, he shared the, the, the gospel with them. And so I was actually kind of intrigued. I mean, I've never heard of this Book of Mormon, neither did I ever hear about these, these Nephites. And so they showed this number at the bottom of the screen and they said, if you would like to get a, a free copy, call and, and, you know, and call us and we will send you a free copy. And so that's what I did. I called the number, someone answered, and I gave them my information. And I thought, you know, they were gonna straight away come to my home. And um, actually, I'm sorry, I thought they were gonna send uh, this book to me, um, which actually didn't happen like I thought. So I waited and waited um, weeks later, and there was no book. I was kind of disappointed. And um, I remember one day I was in my apartment and I heard a knock at my door. Now, living in New York, you just don't open the door for anyone. So I peeped through the hall and I saw these two young ladies. And at first I, I literally thought they were, um, you know, two ladies that I was studying with from the Jehovah Witness. And I did not want to open my door because I just didn't think that they were, you know, they, they, it just didn't add up. It's not what I was looking for. And so um, I didn't answer my door, but these uh, ladies keep knocking. And so finally, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna open my door and just tell him that I am not interested. And so I opened my door and before I could even open my, my mouth, um, the ladies um, said, hey, you know, we, um, first they said my name and then they said, you know, we're from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and that they um, bring the Book of Mormon. So when they said the Book of Mormon, I was like, I was waiting for you guys all along. And I said, I, you know, what happened? Um, I was waiting for this book. And they were like, well, you know, um, we actually come in person um, to share a message with you. And so, um, so, I, so they said to me, they're like, can we come in and share a message? And I was like, absolutely. So they came in and um, to make a long story short, they, you know, they, they talk about this plan of salvation that I've never heard of before. They said I live with Heavenly Father before I came to earth. And then they told me that I came to earth to get a body and, um, and that um, I am a child of God. And all of those things I really didn't know before. I didn't know I live with Heavenly Father in heaven or I have a, a father in heaven. 
and I didn't know that I came to earth to get a body. So everything that they were sharing about this plan of salvation was so new to me. I was so like embedded into what they were telling me that I just, I was, I was so hungry for this knowledge. And uh, to make a long story short, they shared me this plan of salvation. They told me um, that they're gonna leave me with this copy of the Book of Mormon and that they mark of, uh, the introduction and third Nephi for me to read with a promise that they will return the next day. Now they came on a Friday and so they told me that they're gonna come back the following day and that I should read these, these things that they mark and if I had any questions, they'll be happy to answer those questions. So they end up finally leaving with their promise to come back the next day, which is Saturday. I couldn't wait for them to leave. I went into my room and I closed the door and um, I began to read the Book of Mormon. I started from the introduction. I didn't really listen to what the missionaries, um, the sister missionaries told me to do. I just start reading the book and I read and I read. And the more I read, I was just like dumbfounded. This was the best uh, book that uh, I've read in a while. And I remember um, there was um, um, Matthew in the Bible. As a little girl, I remember going to church and in Matthew, Matthew talk about this gate and it's in Matthew chapter seven. Uh, and let me just quickly uh, turn to that really quickly. I'm gonna um, put on my, my glasses here. And in Matthew chapter seven, um, I'm just gonna read what it says. And so Matthew talk about this gate and Matthew says, um, give me one second here. Um, let's see. So he said, um, so the, the, the gate by, for straight is the gate and narrow is the way. Um, but so he talks about this gate um, that we should enter, but he never really say basically what it is that we should enter. He just says, first, first straight is the gate and now is the way. Okay, and that's in Matthew chapter seven. Um, let's see here. Give me one second. Make sure. Actually, I'm sorry. It's in Matthew chapter seven, verse 13. It says, enter into the straight gate for wide is the gate and narrow is the way that leads to destruction and many uh, will go therein, okay? But he never specified what this gate was. Now, in the Book of Mormon, the Book of Mormon, and this is actually found in 2 Nephi, okay? 2 Nephi um, chapter 31, and uh, this is verse 17, and it says, Wherefore, do the things which I have told you that I have seen that your Lord and your Redeemer should do. For for this cause have they been shown unto me, that you might know the gate by which you should enter. For the gate by which you should enter is repentance and baptism by water. And then commit a remission of your sins by fire and by the Holy Ghost. So when I read um, you know, in Second Nephi, and it told me that, you know, the gate by which you should enter is baptism, actually repentance and baptism. I was like, whoa. So this gate, for so many years, I've been wondering, what does he mean by this gate? In, in Second Nephi, in the Book of Mormon, the gate is repentance and baptism, okay? So a person has to be baptized before they can enter into God's, uh, God's presence. And as I began to read and read and read, I just couldn't put the book down because I just been getting all of these answers to my questions that I was reading in the Bible growing up. So I kept reading and kept reading and kept reading. And then I noticed something happening to me. I began to, cr I began to like bawl. And uh, I'm making a long story short, I haven't told you that at that time in my life, I was going through a really, really hard time. I'd make some choices that I was not proud of. Um, I was involved in, uh, you know, like, you know, just, you know, drugs and drinking and, and all those things that, you know, I became very depressed and very sad. And that's the reason why I started searching for, for the Lord. And so as I read, I noticed I just began to just bawl because 
it's kind of like I don't know all my emotion just like come in one because of what I was reading and I didn't even notice the time or anything I just, just kept reading because it was so good I end up um, reaching Moroni chapter 10 which gives a promise that when you read these things if it be wisdom in God that you should read them that you should ask God if these things were true and I already know the Book of Mormon was true I didn't even need to ask the Lord but because the mission sister missionaries asked me to, to, to pray and ask the Lord if these things were true you know I wanted to be obedient so you know I got on my knees and I seriously have not prayed in years I got on my knees and I just mumbled something like God you know this is I met this is the missionaries they gave me this book I've read it I know it's true um, you know but I wanted to find out from you uh, if this book was uh, you know if it was true and uh, when I said that prayer something amazing happened you know I just felt the Holy Spirit came over me and I just I, I mean I there's no doubt there's nothing my mind was as clear as day and I knew I knew it was true and so um, that was the next morning so I read the Book of Mormon in one night uh, because I just couldn't put it down so the next day when the sister missionaries came in I remember they walk in and I hand them the Book of Mormon I was like ladies these are some of the, this is the best book I've ever read Wow and I was just beside myself and they were like well did you you know did you mark the did you read the things that we marked and I said no I, I actually finished the book and they did not know what to, to say to each other they're like I think they look at each other like you finished the whole book and I said yeah I did and I said um, I have a lot of questions and so they did went ahead and answer all the questions that I had and then um, when they finished answering all those questions then I told them I said you know I was told that I need to be baptized and they said to one another they said well that would be impossible because we have six discussion and you've only received the first today would be the second and I said you don't understand I need to be baptized today um, on Sunday so they came the Friday this was the Saturday they shared with me the second discussion um, and now I'm gonna tell you something so living in New York everything is way expensive and I am uh, originally from Jamaica and so at the time you know because I was um, doing drugs I have a bag of weed in my closet and when they were sharing you know they said there are certain things I have to give up before I can get baptized I told them I said you know I told them that I had a bag in my closet and I remember getting up and took the bag out of my closet went in the toilet and flush it down the toilet that's how serious I was about getting baptized and um, so I did that and they end up sharing a second discussion with me they told me that I had to meet with a bishop which I did on Sunday so I went to church on Sunday met with the bishop get the rest of the discussion which is a four other discussion and later I was baptized so I read the Book of Mormon in one day and then get baptized two days later after I met the missionaries now I know that was a little bit fast but I think when God calls you to do something you don't argue with God and says well can you hold on until I research certain things you have to be obedient and um, I know the Book of Mormon is true uh, not because I've read it but because of how I felt when I read it and of uh, the things that it you know all the things that it 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 uh, all the questions that I um, had back in the years about the Bible that would not clear in the Book of Mormon clarify it now the thing is about the Book of Mormon and the Bible now with these scriptures if you read the Bible which is the only Bible that we have we read but if you read the Book of Mormon and the Bible together um, they're compatible with each other so basically you get the fullness of the gospel and that's what the Book of Mormon and the Bible is and I'm so grateful to the Lord for sending these sister missionaries to my door um, and for them um, teaching me this plan of salvation it has changed my life um, I would not 
know what I would do if I didn't meet those sister missionaries because I feel like the path that I was taking, I probably would have been dead by now. And I'm so grateful for the scriptures and what they are to me. But as I said, you know, um, when God calls you to do something, you just have to be obedient and listen. Um, I thank you for giving me this time to share my, my experience. And I leave this with you in his name, Jesus Christ. Amen.